Hi everyone. Um, it is February 29th, which means it's time for February favorite. And I figured I would get it done today versus waiting until next week when I have to go back to work. So I'll jump right into it so it's not a long video. Um, I have the TV on in the background because I have my boys sleeping and they're used to sleeping with sound. So forgive me if you can hear the TV, but I have to have it on. So, and if I have to stop, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that a lot of my videos, all my videos are not edited. Um, I feel more comfortable just showing you the raw side of me and I don't even bother with editing. So everything is first cut and not re-recorded, so um, I hope you don't mind. Anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. And um, I have three blogs. Um, the first one is my twin mommy blog, which um, I'll put all the links down below. Um, I have um, a few products up there that I've reviewed, and uh, I do a special section called the Tuesday uh, section which is for like giveaways or special just blog entries, pictures, videos, things that I want to share with you guys. Um, so check that one out. I also have a personal blog and if you've read that you know I'm working on a book right now. Um, and then I have a beauty blog which again I'll put all the links down below but if you could pass the word around Twitter, Facebook, just subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, so I'll get started with my uh, February favorites. The first one is the Havana Benefit Blush Blush Box. Um, I really like this. I have had kind of a hard time trying to find blushes that actually complement my skin tones. I'm kind of in between colors right now because it's the end of winter and the beginning of spring so I don't have a lot of color so um, this one has a lot of lilac lavenders and it's a very nice peachy uh, glow for my skin believe it or not so I really like this one I also mix it with um, the NARS Desire blush which it looks really really bright but uh, actually I have it on it's kind of bad because it's like one o'clock in the morning and I've had my makeup on since like 4 o'clock this afternoon, so, um, but I mix the two together to kind of give a, a more sheer warm glow, and, um, I also use, to add a little bit more glow to it with my foundation, um, the NARS Copacabana Illuminator, which I put up here, um, it's really creamy, it's a very nice texture, the consistency is, I couldn't, the NARS product, the whole line is, is wonderful, I, I love NARS. Um, but speaking of my foundation routine, I've been using, <laughs> sorry, I've been using, um, this is my Holy Grail foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I'm in Desert Beige. Um, I've been using this on days when I want full coverage, and days when I don't want as much coverage, but I still want some kind of coverage because I have uneven skin tone, I use the... Garnier BB cream. I can't say enough about this. I really, really love this product. Um, I got the medium to deep color, and this one has an SPF 15. I don't know what it is about this this formula, but it, it's it really it goes on smooth. Um, I don't have to worry about it being um, like smelly. Like some some of them have like a formula that smells. I love this. Uh, the, the correction is great. The SPF is is low, but you know, I'm not outside a lot, but it, it's, I really love this product. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to do a giveaway. So um, if you want to enter the giveaway, just comment down below. Please enter me for um, the Garnier BB Cream. Um, you can message me on Twitter or uh, post it on one of my blogs. So I'll do a giveaway for this because I really believe that this 
I mean, you're either going to love it or hate it, and if you are interested in trying it, it's free, so it's not like you'd be purchasing it, so even if you didn't like it and it didn't work for you, you could always pass it on to somebody else. So if you want to enter, enter down below, follow me on Twitter, message me, or enter on enter your entry on one of my blogs. So that's another part of my favorite. Um, I'm still using the Chanel pressed powder. I only use this for touch-ups. One, because it was, ex it was expensive for powder. And two, because I really don't need to touch up. I'm very, I have a combination skin, so I'm not oily. And I'm kind of dry, but right now it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm using the Double Perfection Natural Matte Powder. It has an SPF 10 and it's medium beige is my color. So, and it just looks like this. I mean, you can still see the logo embossed in it right there. So, I love this. Um, my last, well no, not my last, my next to last product is the um, Concealer Twins by Physicians Formula. I have the really dark circles under one of these eyes, I can't remember where it's darker than the other one. And this one has the yellow formula, which is good for canceling out dark circles, and then of course the color to even it out. And I use my... It's Project Runway in the background. Um, I use my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender to blend it all in. And this has been my go-to item for concealer for a long time, along with my um, my eyeliner from Almay. I've been using these since I was in high school, and that was forever and a day ago. So these two products are still my favorites and probably will be my favorites for a while. Um, the last base product I have is the Bronze Booster, again by Physicians Formula. And I heard um, Let76 here on YouTube talk about her Guerlain uh, Meteorite, and I just couldn't bring myself to purchase them just because of the. I just. I don't know. I, I was afraid that I wouldn't use it. So I wanted to try something just to not spend that much on a bronzer. Um, so I got this one, and this one comes, it's got a mirror, and it has, I never use these, a little powder puff, but this is what they look like, and I just use my face brush um, by Sigma the Large F30 face powder brush, and just twirl it around, and then like buff it into my skin, and I love this, I, this has been um, a really good product. Um, this month, so if you're looking for something not too expensive, I think this was about 15 or 16 dollars at CVS, and then I had some coupons that I used, so I didn't spend a lot of money on it, but it's a good product, and I would, would and probably will whenever I run out of it, um, repurchase this. Um, my iPod, besides that, I'm still using the original makeup palette a lot. I didn't find the need to buy the second released palette. I might eventually, just not right now. Um, the second eye product I've been using is the Chanel Eyelash Curler, and I haven't actually owned an eyelash curler before, but I've heard different reviews about the Shamer one, the, um, the ELF one, and the Chanel one, and I finally just decided to cave and buy the Chanel one. Um, this has been really well because I have sparse lashes and they're straight, so this has helped a lot with trying to curve them and make them look really pretty instead of me having to wear false eyelashes all the time. I usually only wear those on special occasions. My lip products that I'm in love with right now is, the first one is the Jack Black Lip Balm. I don't know what it is about this, but... Um, I'll use my Lush Bubblegum Lip Exfoliator, the lip scrub, in the shower, and then when I'm done, I put this on, and it feels so nice. Like, I have the driest lips, and this is very, very moisturizing. I really, really love this product, and you know what? I might do a giveaway on this, so if you'd be interested in a giveaway on the Jack Black Lip Balm, let me know below or one of my blogs, because it the products that I like to give away are the ones I just can't live without, and I really can't see myself living without this anymore. So that's one of my lip products. I bought 
I think it was the shop, shop Mac, Cook Mac collection. I bought the Tender Tone and Hush Hush. And again, the lighting here is really bad. I'm sorry. I'm at my in-laws right now. Um, it smells like watermelon. This is, and I know a lot of people have said that. This smells like watermelon, and then their lipstick, the MAC lipstick, smell like vanilla, and together, it's like heaven. The two together are, is, is heaven. Um, I've been using that a lot. Actually, I have that on top of this Nicki Minaj uh, Viva Glam lipstick. And I love this. I really was scared to use it. I think I talked to Let76 about it, where I was just fearful of wearing something bright. But this is really nice. I really like this. Uh, amongst the other lip colors I'm using, I'm using the uh, Rev two Revlon lip butters right now. One in Berry Smoothie and the other in Creme Brulee. So these two products together are, they give my lips a more warmer color. And then if I need like, just one color to go, with everything, I've been using the Color Rich Balm by uh, L'Oreal in the color Caramel Comfort, and it comes in this case. So, I don't know if you can see that really well. It's real sheer, but it smells really nice, and it's a really pretty color, and I love it. So I've been using that all the time. Um, some random products that I've been using. After I get out of the shower, I really like to smell good. I don't really like heavy fragrances, so I've been using the Chanel Chance, the Attendra Shower Mist, and I love, love this product. It smells, it's light and it's airy. I don't know if it's because it's just a mist, but it smells so pretty. And it's, um, it's something that I think I bought it last year and I'm still going through it so there's still quite a few sprays left in it so this is really nice the MAC 6 Plus I uh, use this to set all my makeup with um, and to also do a wet application or foiling on my eyes I love this. This is really good. It smells really nice too. Uh, Walgreens AHA, the Alpha Hydroxy, and I got this from, or this tip from Nurbur XO on YouTube. I love her. She's like salt of the earth. Um, I'm still using this. I don't know how long it says before you have to throw it out. But there's still quite a lot of product left in it. So I really like this. Um, it's moisturizing, it has like a temporary tingling feeling, but um, it makes me feel really smooth, my skin feel really smooth, and I usually put that on after my shower. The other face product I've been using is the Sigma B Cleansing and Polishing Tool. Um, there are three retractable heads on here. There's uh, easy, or I can't remember what's easy, medium, and firm, or something like that. Um, the easy is for your skin, your face, and then the medium and firm is for exfoliating your body. And compared to the Clarisonic, I, the tag is, is is cheaper. This was thirty nine, I think, and I think the Clarisonic is like a hundred. So wrong. I don't know. This is really nice. Um, it's been helping slough off all the dead skin cells, the dry patchy areas, and it requires two AA batteries that don't come with it, but it's, I love this product. And I actually reviewed this on one of my blogs, um, but I'll put a link below so if you want to purchase it. I think it's, um, they're still doing free gift with every $30 purchase. From Sigma. I think it's their full size E25 blending brush or E25 brush. I can't remember if they still do that one or not, but this is really good if you don't want to pay for the Clarisonic kind. Uh, the hair products I have been loving, and, and I don't use a lot of hair products after shampooing or aside from shampooing just because I don't want to ruin any more 
than the one that I've already done. I don't want to ruin my hair any further than I've already done with the coloring. So um, I try and use them really sparse, but the ones I've been using is the sculpting from, from Paul Mitchell. And I mix this with my Bio Silk Silk Drops, I think that's what it's called. And if you mix them together and then you kind of like tease your hair and then run it through, like put it on your hands and then run it through, um, it does wonders for volume and it smells good. Um, so I've been using this, it's a conditioning foam, so I like that. And the last product I have, I got this from Urban Decay, and it was actually on sale, and I wanted to try it. It's the um, Sparkling Lickable Body Powder. It seems kind of weird. Um, just got this, but there's not much to review on it. All it is is it comes with this really pretty puff that has the Urban Decay writing on it. And it's got like a sifter. I don't know if this comes out or not. Oh, it does. <laughs> it smells like marshmallow. This is the marshmallow one. I think they have one in like cocoa or something like that. But this is the marshmallow one. And it smells really good. So, I think it was like $9. That's all of my February favorites. And sorry that the video ran long, and uh, sorry that the lighting is bad, but um, comment below if you want me to do a giveaway for the Jack Life lip balm, and comment below or my blog if you would be interested in the giveaway for the Garnier BB Cream. Um, I'd be more than happy to do both, I just need to know if there's going to be enough people to enter, so pass the word around, retweet it, tell your friends, and enter below. And thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.